Welcome to my haul video. I just got back from picking up my items from shopgoodwill.com, their online auction site. And now I'm gonna show you what I got. This is a red tub full of silverware. So, you can see it's quite tarnished, but we'll take a look at the mark. See if we can focus it there. Come on, come on, there we go. Rogers Bros, 1847 China. So this is, I believe, silver-plated Chinaware. It's vintage. Now what I found most interesting about this set is that I have not yet been able to identify this pattern. There are um, lists of, of different um, patterns for this type of China, or sorry, not China, for this type of Rogers uh, Bros Silver. There are lists of patterns for this, and I have not been able to identify this one. So as you can see, I've got a whole lot of pieces here. I think there are 72 in total. So um, these are going to get cleaned up and put up for sale on eBay. All right. Now, a huge lot of belts. So let's see, there's a lot of different ones here. I'll probably have to show you them one by one. Finally, a bunch of mink. It's like a mink stall and it's kind of creepy because they're all like fully, um, it's not just the fur, they're like real minks with creepy little fake eyes. And I don't know what I was thinking bidding on this. Um, I just like taxidermied things, I guess. And uh, I'm, I'm regretting this already, but I've got it. We'll see what happens with it. If you're icked out by this realistic looking fur, um, you probably should be because it's a little weird. So who knows? Oh, it does have a brand. Let's, let's have a look. That's probably why I bought it because it's made by Julius Garfinkel and Co. in Washington State. So there you have it. One mink stole. Now, coming up next, lots of belts. All right, let's check out these belts that I got today. I paid uh, $12 for uh, a lot of belts from shopgoodwill.com. So here's all the belts. You can see it's a good amount. So the price per belt is probably about 50 cents, I'm guessing, and I will probably be able to sell at least half of them. Uh, there's probably some that will go back to donation. So let's check it out and see what I got. All right, Harley Davidson. This is the reason that I wanted to bid on this in the first place. This belt is, uh, it appears to be handcrafted leather work. Uh, it's very, very lightly used. You can see there's almost no wear to it. it. Needs a belt buckle. It's a size 38. Somebody will really like this. So this will definitely be getting listed for sale. All right, this is an unbranded belt. It's got a plastic, clear plastic uh, loop there and it's got kind of a bedazzled um, buckle. And check this out. This is actually what makes it interesting at all. Yes, there is a graffiti design and then like an old school tattoo design that go back and forth depending on the angle you hold it at. And it's lightly used. You can see the holes are pretty good. So I'm hoping to get like 10 bucks or $12 for this because there's no brand on it, but it's pretty neat. This is a guest belt. It's got a bedazzled, bejeweled uh, buckle there with the big G and some looks brand new, unused. It's marked on the back as being gas. Uh, I see a V on it in chalk, which is from the Goodwill. So they were probably trying to sell this belt for $5 uh, in one of the stores before it got put in this lot for auction. So Southwest style concho silver bead woven leather belt. Got a nice buckle, got a cool design. It says vintage 1995 on the back of the buckle. And uh, this is Justin brand. So it's an actual real Western brand. It's vintage 1990s. So I think I won't have a problem selling this belt. 
Here's another Western style belt. The buckle has a cowboy riding on a bucking bronco. Um, it's got some nice detail, nice leather work. You can see, oops, you can see there. The holes look brand new, like it's never been used. It is marked with this 3D and it says China. So not sure about this brand, but I think it's got the right style and someone will want it. Swoosh. This is a brand new, well, almost brand new Nike belt. Still has the price tag of $50 on the inside. It's never been used. It does have a little bit, like it's a little bent up right here and it's got some scratches and dings to it. So I'm gonna list it as used and unworn. Um, and I think someone will want it looking super fly in their white Nike belt. These are, if you can't tell, they are, um, it looks like lion heads on a golden coin circular design here. And it's a woman's belt, lightly used. It does have a brand on the back that I can't quite make out. Show it to you there. Uh, yeah, hard to say. So I'll put it up for sale and we'll see what happens. Michael Kors. My helper who helps me with my eBay stuff goes by the name MK, that's her abbreviated name. So I'm actually gonna see if she wants this belt first. Otherwise, um, it will probably go up for sale. Uh, the Goodwill was trying to sell it for $10 before it got put in this, uh, in this auction lot. All right, check this one out. This is an actual snakeskin belt made with real uh, snakeskin. I'm not sure what type of snake. Uh, probably Python, most likely. Um, it's got a nicely detailed buckle and it has a maker's mark right there. It's hard to see what it says, but it looks like it says S.E. Jackson and then it's stamped Tucson. So what that means to me is that this was actually made here in Tucson by a local leathersmith. Uh, so it's probably not someone who's super well known on eBay, like I probably won't be able to find another one of their belts, but I bet you someone will want this because it's a unique handmade item and you know, that's always good. All right, here's another Michael Kors belt. And it is a little bent up, but it looks like it was very lightly used or hardly used at all. It looks like maybe they had it right in that hole only for a little while. So, uh, there you go. All right, this is gonna be the last one because I just have too many belts and this video is gonna get super, super long and I've got work to do. So, just know there's more where this came from, not the last belt I'll show you guys. So you can see my reflection in this gold belt. It's kind of a chain mail style. You can see the pieces moving around there. So, this looks vintage to me. Not super fancy, not high end, but someone will want this for some crazy glitter costume or outfit or just to look just to look fabulous. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for checking out my shopgoodwill.com haul and these three lots of three different things that I got, even the weird spooky mink uh, stole. So um, once again, not sure why I bought that, but I did, so I'm gonna sell it. Thanks for watching, hit the like button, leave a comment if you have anything to say about belts or any of this crazy stuff. I'll see you next time, bye.